my son is an only child, so, you know, we've always been very, very close. My husband and, and I, we've been very close with him, and we've always been very open, you know, and, you know, he's in college now, so, you know, he comes home and he tells me all stories about things that I, as a mom, don't really want to know. All know? right, but you want to keep that line of communication open, right? Um, How do you handle something like this? I... Like the advice I gave her, if he's telling me all this stuff, these intimate details, and I'm just feeling a little bit uncomfortable, I'm not denying that people don't do that in college. I was a little crazy, you know, and he well, he has my DNA, so maybe he's going to make some mistakes, but tell your dad. Tell your dad. Why don't you want to hear about this? I would rather have Derek be like, dude, boy talk, garage, tell me all about it. Like, make him still feel like he can tell one of us. Nicole, were you a wild child? I was not, actually. All right, so... But my son is becoming a little bit of a wild child, Mm -hmm. and he's not quite to the college age yet, and not even really wild, but we do have that very open communication, but we've also set those boundaries of, "Eh, dude, I don't need to know that. Yeah. But we also have the boundary set of, if it's going to be awkward for me, it's going to be awkward for everybody. So what are these boundaries? Like, what what is, like, the line? And then if they cross it, what is that? Um, just being open and honest with him and letting him know, dude, I appreciate you being open with me, but mm-hmm. I don't really need to know all those details. <laughs> yeah. So if he, if he were to go to a party and smoke some weed, you don't want to know about that? If he was, felt he was in danger... He would absolutely call me or text me. Yeah. And if he felt like he couldn't drive, he would absolutely call me or text me. Sure. And say, hey, this is what happened. I'll come. I'll be there. Well, yeah. I think all parents want to set that boundary up, right? You want to say that. Listen, uh, I, you get whatever. How many get out of jail free cards? Just make sure you don't go to jail kind of cards. But like, I would never have been able to call my. Well, I probably would have, but I never felt like sure I would have. I, I never felt like I could have, though. You know, so I always found my way home. Sometimes the irresponsible way, but I've had that conversation, what you've had with Liam so many times, and he's hopefully not even near that age, but I was like, you just ditch out, you call me, I'll come get you, no questions asked. Did you start like a paper list of things you don't want to hear about, Nicole? I did not. That might be a good idea. But I did hear about a hickey he gave his girlfriend. Oh, where? On her boob. (laughs) <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, don't you ever do that again. Oh, Because my it hurts God. like hell when it heals. And he said, how do you know that? And I told him to go after his stepdad. <laughs> oh, my God. So did like I, I not? Said, if it's going to be awkward. For me, it's going to be awkward for everybody in the house. Yeah. Oh, my God. I was just talking to JJ about this the other day, about hickeys that I made my boyfriend give me all, <laughs> yeah. all right. ev- anywhere but my neck, baby. Off the beaten path. All right. Thanks. Uh, thanks for the insight, Nicole. Have a great morning today. All right. Take care. Uh, Brittany, were you a wild child? I I was, but yeah. I actually have the other perspective. I wanted to call quick because I was the child that had that open communication with my parents. Okay. Um, And I told them everything. Sometimes I think I did it purposely to make them a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Like but, uh, but I can tell you right now that if they allowed it, and as I've become an adult, it is... It is awesome. I have such open communication. I can tell them, ask them anything. Yeah. And, like, I was so with it because they let me do that, and now I have such a wonderful relationship with them. Okay. Like, even right. boob, hook- boob hickeys were cool to talk about? Uh, I mean, my dad would get red in the face, but I would do it sometimes, like I said, to make yeah. him uncomfortable. Just to get a rush. <laughs> I do that with people around work, like or, uh, like yeah. upper management around here. I'll bring stuff like that up just to see how unanxious they get, you know what I mean? I like can the- only imagine it would create a really great relationship with your parents by do you, do you showing have, them you trust them. Do you have kids, Brittany? I do not. All but right. even just relationships, work, any of those any questions that I have, I am so ready. The first person I call is my dad. Yeah. And oh. that's what I tell him all the time. I'm your best friend. Like, Derek and I are your best friends. If you can't tell us. What does his best friend tell. say about that? He doesn't have that. I am best friend number one. Derek's best friend number two. Whoever else comes or whatever. His drug dealer will be best friend number three. Why You're going to watch My kid's going to be on drugs. Well. Just, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Brittany. Have a great morning. All right. You too. Take care. If you're a mommy or a daddy and you got this line of communication going. 